Hello, Cash's Class of 2020. Welcome to Decision Day 2020. I know it's not how we planned it on happening, but hey, we'll make the best of it. So we got a lot of good stuff planned for you coming up, so stay tuned. Hi, Class of 2020. Um, it's Miss Whitcomb. Um, we just wanted to share a few words about how proud we were of you guys. Um, so, you guys were born into a really weird world, so it only makes sense that you should conclude your high school career in a similar world. Um, Mrs. Leonard, Mr. McNew, and I just wanted to convey um, how extremely proud we are of you guys, and you all have been faced with obstacles and challenges in your life, as well as in your high school career. Um, you know what those circumstances are um, for yourself and for each of you. Being who you are today and being here today, graduating and celebrating Decision Day, you've shown everyone, including yourselves, just how much perseverance and grit you have. Um, I personally am a big fan of quotes, and one of my favorite ones is um, often attributed to Thomas Jefferson, and he supposedly says, um, I am a great believer in luck, and I find the harder I work, the more I have of it. So I am not a big believer in luck, um, but I choose to interpret this quote in a more facetious way, meaning that I think of it as the more hard work you put into your goals and your aspirations, the more opportunities you'll be presented with, um, and therefore increasing your chances of being successful within that goal, within that career, um, whatever your aspirations are. Um, so kind of like the quote, um, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, here you are kind of making your own luck, luck by putting in that hard work. Um, so I know I haven't been with you guys for a very long time, um, but you have been a part of your own life story for the whole time. <laughs> so you know how far you've come and what you've accomplished, and that's enough. You are enough, and you should be proud of you, because we all certainly are. Um, so I just kind of want to leave you guys with another quote, um, Pura Vida, I don't know if it's going to show up backwards, but it says Pura Vida, um, and in Costa Rica it's a phrase often used to say, like, everything's okay, um, it's all cool, it's all good, um, so I just want to reassure you guys. It's all good. You guys are awesome. You guys are doing what you need to do. And we love you. And we miss you. And I'm not going to cry. So we're going to end it here. Um, but I just want you guys to know that we love you. And we hope you all keep in touch. And let us know how your lives are going. Um, after all of this. And through all of this. Whew. Awesome. Crazy times. And you guys have made it the best two years ever for me. So just know that we are so extremely proud of you and you guys rock at everything. So awesome. Hey guys, here we are for virtual decision day. I know it's a little different than what we have been planning. McNoon, I've been planning decision day since last year, along with Mr. Zimmerman. Um, we bought a bunch of stuff and had the whole thing planned out pretty much last year, but you know what? Life changes, you gotta go with it. Like I said in an earlier video, when life gives you lemons, you better make some lemonade. So that's what we are doing and you guys are worth it. So, decision day. We've been preaching at you for four years. What are you gonna do with yourself? We don't care what your plan is as long as you have a plan and we are so very happy that so many of you are moving forward with your plans and your goals and your aspirations. Decision day is awesome. To think about some of you that are now going, let's say, to the military and to the, say, the Marines or the Air Force, and to think about how you were, you guys know who you are, and you gals, in ninth grade, and you would have told me, oh yeah, so-and-so is gonna be a um, firefighter in the Air Force. I'd be like, really? But you're doing it. Um, some of you in ninth grade were just not sure of yourself, and now some of you are going off to um, Ivy League or sub Ivy League universities and that's amazing because you worked so hard the last four years 
Some of you in ninth, 10th grade, maybe you were behind on your credits. Maybe you were going through stuff in life that you didn't even know if you're gonna graduate high school. Guess what? You've done it. And now you're going off into community college or regular college to be a nurse or to be a graphic artist or dental hygienist. So many amazing, amazing things you guys have accomplished. And it's been my honor and my privilege to walk alongside you the last four years. Chevrolet movie theater. Interior crocodile alligator. It's gonna be fun. You just need to believe. Clap your hands if you believe. Everything is okay. Are you crying? No. Not I'm in. not. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy. You're happy? <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're laughing. Yeah. Okay, do you want to watch Sophia? Yeah. Please join us in welcoming Dr. Mark Long, Assistant Superintendent of the Chambersburg Area School District, as our keynote speaker. We are here today to honor the students who have decided to continue their education, serve in the military, and start their career path. Hi, I am Mark Long, Assistant Superintendent for the Chambersburg School District. I want to speak to you today about some life decisions you will be making during your lifetime. You know, life gives us pathways. Some are visible and look really easy. Others are difficult and have boulders in our way. Questions arise and we find ourselves wondering why those boulders are in our way. Some people would walk around them. Other people will climb over them. But few will try to move them so others can have an easier path in the future. Move those boulders. We all have drive and aspirations as well. We like to think that we have it all together as we conquer troubles and learn from them. As we walk through life, we must always remember we will never be the wisest person who ever lived. We must never judge others, never use others for our own gain, but serve others. In serving others, you will create an environment of cooperation and collaboration that is needed in this world. My last point to you today is a story. A popular speaker started off a seminar by holding up a $100 bill. A crowd of 200 had gathered to hear him speak. He asked, who would like this $100 bill? 200 hands went up. 
He said, I'm going to give this $100 bill to one of you, but first let me do this. And he crumpled up the bill. Then he asked, who still wants it? 200 people raised their hand. Well, he replied and showed it to the crowd. The bill was all crumpled and dirty. Now who still wants it? All the hands still went up. My friends, I have just showed you a very important lesson. No matter what I did to the money, you still wanted it because it did not decrease its value. It's still worth $100. Many times in our lives, life crumples us and grinds us into the dirt. We make bad decisions or deal with poor circumstances. We feel worthless, but no matter what has happened or what will happen, you will never lose your value. You are special. Don't ever forget that. To, to conclude, remember to move the boulders, serve others, and never forget what happens in your life. You will still have value. You are an awesome young people, and we, we value who you are in our community. Please take this advice into your next steps of life. Thank you. And now, a very special book reading, with the book selected by your counselors and read by some of your favorite Cash's staff. This is Remarkably You, written by New York Times bestselling author Pat Zietlow Miller and illustrated by Patrice Barton. You might be bold, you might be loud, leading parades, drawing a crowd. You might be timid, you might be shy, quietly watching, the neighbors go by. You might be small, one tiny sprout, learning new things when you're out and about. You might be big, practically grown, coming and going with friends of your own. No matter your volume, your age, or your size, you have the power to be a surprise. You have the know-how, you're savvy and smart. You could change the world. Are you willing to start? Don't sit on the sidelines, be part of the fray. Go after your passions a little each day. Find what needs fixing, repair what you can, then choose a new problem and do it again. Perhaps you're uncertain, not sure what to do. Just look for the moments that let you be you. Like maybe you're funny or bookish or fast, or maybe you're always undecidedly last. Perhaps you like counting, one, Two, three, up, uh, up, uh, up, uh. or drawing all day. Or finding invisible dragons to slay. I know I heard that too. You have your own spirit, unparalleled flair. So rock what you've got, every day, everywhere. Perhaps you wander, or wonder, or sing. The world needs your voice and the gifts that you bring. You can make a difference in big ways or small. You won't know how much until you give it your all. So find what you're good at, what you have to give. Then go share your sunshine wherever you live. Okay, maybe you say go sh share your sunshine wherever you live. Okay. Might be a helper that's first on the scene, a speller, a builder, a jump roping queen. A swimmer who knits, a cellist who cheers, a mutt loving cat cuddler who bothers. You are a blessing, a promise, a prize. You're capable, caring, courageous, and wise. You might go unnoticed or shine like a star. But wherever you go and whoever you are, don't change how you act to be just like the rest. Believe in yourself and the things you do best. Whether you're daring or careful or kind, embrace who you are and the way you're designed. Dream your own dreams, hear your own heart. You could change the world, you just have to start. Follow your path, do what you love, 
but he lost the field with his weakness to the school he lost the field. And now, some very special photos from your time at Caches put together by your very own Sophie Golden. Enjoy.
2020 Decision Day Roll Call.
Check yeah. me out. Boom, bam, bam, bop. Bada bop, boom. Pow. Oh! Hi! <laughs> Hi! Good morning! And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The prize drawing, brought to you by Ms. Whitcomb. Hello everyone, happy decision day. As you can see, I've got all my Gettysburg swag with me. Um, and I hope you guys have your school swag, or your army swag, or your Marine Corps swag, or whatever you have. Um, and I hope you guys are getting excited uh, to go off to your next adventures. Um, it's prize time, so without further ado, let's go ahead and pick some people to win some prizes. Um, so I have a different hat for each prize, um, and I put all of your names in it <laughs> for each thing that you liked. So I have several different hats, um, all with different names in them. So without further ado, here we go. The first one is um, an Amazon gift card for fifty dollars. I'm giving away two of these. So the first one is to Terrell Williams. Yay! <laughs> and the second one is to Elizabeth Holtry. Yay! And for all you music fans out there, I wrote this on the back of old sheet music that I had. The next thing I'm giving away is a $25 Netflix gift card, and we're giving away two of these. So, person number one is, oh, and here's my hat. <laughs> Uh, Cheyenne Yeager. Yay, congrats. And the second one is Mia Motes. Mia Motes. <laughs> the next prize is a $25 gift card to Starbucks, and I'm also giving away two of these. So, the for oh, and here's my hat. <laughs> and the first one is Raina Sylvester. And the second one is Colton Wright. One is for the funky saucer chair. Um, and my, of course, Gettysburg College hat. So. Madison Yost. Yay! This one is for the Roku. Um, and it's in my old school Liberty Mountain hat. <laughs> so. Katie Truman! Alright guys, this is for the Keurig, and it's in my Penn State hat. Alright. We are... Tyshawn Morrell! For the iPad Mini, and it's in my John Deere hat. Because I come from the boondocks. <laughs> and... Our winner's Annalise Fleet. Yay! It's for the super cool lamp with all the different settings and all that fun stuff. And it's in my G-Pat. Kristen Johnson! Woo! This one is for the Chromebook. Na -na 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 -na. That was my drum roll. Um, and it's in my winter hat. <laughs> so let's ruffle it around. Isabel Myers! Yay! Oh, this is our last one. Sorry, everyone. Um, and it's for the AirPods. Woo! Alright. Let's mix it up good. Shane Gelsinger! Woo! Guys, so that was our last one. Um, and it was in my Apple Harvest Festival hat with a little leaf on top. Because I like apples. Um, thank you guys for joining us, and I hope you guys had fun. Um, we had some really exciting things planned for you guys for Decision Day, but I hope this makes up for it. Um, for those of you that won, I will be contacting you to get your shipping addresses. Um, and thank you guys for just being awesome, making my two years at Cassius amazing. Um, I hope you guys had an awesome high school career, and we're going to have Night of the Stars coming up soon. So if you haven't already, 
um, email the Knight of the Stars email. So it's n o t s at c a s d online dot org. Um, email that email. All of your award letters, all of your scholarships that you've won.、Um, if you applied for the, any CASD Foundation scholarships,、um, we are actually getting those names from the coordinator of the scholarships, so you don't have to report those.、Um, other than that, you guys are awesome,、uh, and thank you for everything. As the sun sets on caches, so does it set on your high school career. It has been an amazing ride with the class of 2020. We are so immensely proud of each and every one of you and all you've accomplished. We hope you look back on your days at Caches with fondness and appreciation. We know that we will forever value every second we have spent with you. Thank you for affording us the opportunity to get to know you. And to play some small part in getting you to where you are today. As you see the gown you signed four years ago as a commitment to graduate, know this is not the end of something, but the beginning. Go forth, spread your wings, and take flight. You will accomplish amazing things. We leave you with this Irish blessing. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Thank you for watching, and good luck in all you do. You will be missed.